Hello guys, I just finished my last pre-surgery hmm. Hello everybody I just came back from my pre-surgery physical therapy and it was really good so here's my story Um, I decided to create this YouTube channel because this is my second ACL surgery and I really want to vlog my journey and I want you guys and I want me, I want all of us to be together in this so it's gonna be hard but I'm gonna be uploading videos every week I think that's gonna how it's gonna work and so the main idea of this is just like telling you guys how I feel, how I improve this is my second surgery, so I already went through it. And also, it's like to keep myself and also you guys motivated to keep going because I know injuries like can, can be really, really bad. There's always this option of just keep going, keep working hard and keep, keep working for the position you want. Even like just getting into the team, just playing for the starter position next year, maybe. And it's a long recovery, like ACL is actually a really long recovery, but that's fine. Like it can sound like it's the end of the world, but it's not. I just wanted to play in a college level. So I tore my ACL from my right knee when I was, yeah, my senior year. So everybody was looking for schools and trying to get committed and actually like everybody was already committed and I was not. I, I've, I've always lived in Mexico City, so I didn't really know what a big deal it was like to start getting committed soon, like some more junior year. So I didn't do that, but I turned my ACL, so I didn't really have a lot of options to look for. So what I did is I took a gap year. So my senior year, I turned my ACL, I had surgery, and I had eight months, yeah, I think it was eight, nine months from recovery, just physical therapy all the time, every day. And it was really rough and what happened after that is like I was ready to play and I went to Miami <clears throat> I went to this academy and when I really thought I was not gonna be able to play soccer anymore and I was just gonna go to school I was not gonna get in the team I was not gonna get committed I remember signing day all my friends were signing and I was just there waiting because I don't know I what I happened a lot is like I used to blame my ACL for not getting committed. After that, I actually got committed. I came my freshman year. I came preseason. That this was last year, one year ago actually, preseason, and it was really rough. It was super hot, so much hotter than Mexico for sure. And season, I didn't play at all. Like I think I had thirty minutes in all season. Like all, many games we play, I just played like thirty minutes in total. And I was so mad. I remember just like going back screaming. But like at the end, I didn't really show the soccer I had. So season ended, winter came, winter break came. That was so amazing. Like I actually started playing soccer with my friends and that was so helpful. Like I remember how much fun I had playing soccer and I think that's something I totally forgot at the beginning. So after that I came back and off season, I started playing the real soccer I know how to play, and it was actually amazing. Like, everybody was so impressed with me. My fitness was on point, it was so fun. And, like, two weeks before practice was over, actually, just like summer started, I, I had a really bad practice. I think my whole team had a bad practice, and we were angry, and we were just like not in the game. And I got tackled, I got tackled, I think, twice. And the first time I just tore my ACL and like I I knew that like it was my right leg this time and I, I kind of knew it was my ACL I didn't really want to accept it but yeah like I couldn't walk after the second tackle I I was uh, screaming it was so bad it was so painful and I went to the hospital 
and they were like yeah tomorrow i don't i don't think you tore your acl so for two weeks i thought i tore my mcl what is way better because the recovery is just like so much faster but that wasn't the case i actually tore my acl and the moment they told me i just like start crying it was so bad and i've been working out every single day i've been going to pre-surgery physical therapy like i said and it helps so much so like it's the main one of the main thing is just to recover your or to gain back your mobility in your legs so that's what i've been working on and also like gaining some as much strength as i can because one of the things is that you lose a lot of strength and a lot of muscle when you get the surgery so instead of losing what i have we've been trying to work on losing whatever i can gain before surgery so today was my last one so this is it this is it so yeah that's why i'm looking like this <laughs> yeah so we'll see how it goes it's gonna be it's gonna be good I'm confident I'm gonna I'm not going to preseason this year. Uh, my team is supposed to be back on August, but I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna stay here one more month and just like do all the physical therapy I can do here because my main doctors are here and after that I'm just gonna take my my whole plan and just go to to Georgia where I study and just like keep going there. Maybe it's gonna be from eight, maybe it could be ten months, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, like I think one of the main things is just like to having a positive attitude because that's what keeps you going and that's what keeps you motivated and without motivation it's so hard to do it. Like it's just so hard. And at the end like there's gonna be moments that you guys are gonna see that I'm just gonna be so mad and I'm just gonna be wanting to to give up and I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it because like you guys and me, we have goals. And being athletes, I think a lot of people understand what that means. And sometimes they just give everything you have. And if that's not enough, it's not enough. But I'm not gonna not achieve that just because I didn't give everything I have. So yeah, I think <laughs> this video has been really long. <laughs> but it's fine, like I just wanted to let you get know like where I am, why am I doing all this and why I'm starting this this channel. So I'm gonna leave you guys with some of the exercises I have that I've been doing for my pre-surgery physical therapy that has been really good. And I'll see you next time.